That's how I started with CNC machining. I have been learning some stuff about CNC machines at school, but I done my very first engraving and milling on this small machine. Then I built Drama CNC and never used T8 again. But why? That's the topic of this video. I will compare T8 to Drama CNC. Let's start with advantages of this machine. The first and the most obvious advantage is price. It's the most affordable CNC machine that you can buy right now and there are also slightly bigger, slightly more expensive versions of this machine. The second thing is size. If you don't have a lot of space in your workshop or maybe you are just at home, if you don't have a lot of space then this machine is perfect because it's really small, it's even smaller than a 3D printer. Of course if you want to mill big things, big objects, then that's a downside. Some machinists will laugh at this point, but I think that this machine is really good when it comes to rigidity. It's made out of aluminum and steel, so it's really not that bad. But of course, it has some downsides. The spindle. 775 DC motor isn't the best spindle out there. The mounting system for the milling bits could be better, like a lot better. And there are also some construction errors, like that's how far you can go on the Y axis. Why? I don't know, maybe just my assembly is wrong. That's it for a very quick review of T8 CNC and right now let's compare it to my DIY Dromo CNC. First thing, size. Of course bigger is better, so that's the point for my machine. Spindle. As I said, T8 spindle isn't really good. Dremel is also not a perfect solution, but it's way better than a DC motor. Stepper motors, electronics and software are almost exactly the same in both machines. Construction. Dremel CNC is made out of aluminum and 3D printed parts. T8 is made out of aluminum and steel. But I use bigger rods on my machine and those thick high infill 3D printed parts are very rigid, maybe even better than 4mm steel. How easy it is to build a machine, the easiness of build if that's a word. For drum CNC you need some tools, you need 3D printed parts and you have to put some work into it. For T8 you just have to assemble it because that's all in one kit, so it's easier, but some people as I do prefer the hard way. The last thing is price. T8 costs about $200 and you can build a Dremel CNC for about $300 so the difference isn't big but you have to print parts by yourself. That's it for the comparison. Overall, DIY Dremel CNC seems to be a better machine but for some people T8 may be a better option. I will put a link to T8 in the description and also links to my videos about how to build a DIY Dremel CNC. But it wouldn't be a good comparison without milling on both machines, so let's mill something. I will start with milling on T8 CNC machine, I set up everything and I will mill a racket. This one was milled on DIY Dremel CNC some time ago, but this time I will mill a smaller racket because bigger one wouldn't fit right there. And because this material is quite thick for this machine, I had to use a double sided tape to fix it. No screws, I hope it will be strong enough. T8 will be controlled by CNCJS, just like my DIY Dremel CNC. And here is the racket. Thank you. 
Remember what I told you? 775DC motor isn't the best spindle out there. I was wrong, it did a nice job, especially on the contour. A little bit of post processing and we have a decent racket. I decided to go with feed rate of 400mm per minute, but I could go faster without any problems. This 775 motor is not that bad and compared to Dremel it is super quiet. Maybe T8 isn't as bad as I initially thought, maybe I was just unexperienced back in the days when using it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos about this machine, I can do some more tests and push it to its limits to see what it can do. And now let's mill a racket on a DIY Dremel CNC. I used the same g code to mill this racket, but this time I milled it two times faster. And it's really hard to say which one is better, both of them looks almost exactly the same. It's up to you what type of machine do you prefer, the main difference is size and easiness factor. That's it for this video, I hope this comparison of entry level CNC machines will help you with choosing your own. Don't forget to subscribe, thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye.